Hello and welcome to a new video from ageekandtwoworths.com. Today we're going to be testing out the MacBook Pro with some dongles. Apple's latest MacBook Pro didn't just introduce the new touch bar, it also introduced a new connector for the system. USB-C. Now this was on other laptops but this is the first time that Apple's jumped into it in a big way in as much as all four ports on the new MacBook Pro are USB-C meaning that if you want to use some of your external devices you're probably going to need a dongle or maybe two. In preparation of my MacBook Pro arriving I also purchased a couple of dongles. I've got this Hutu dongle which is pretty good actually from Amazon and I'll put the link in my description below. Um, it, this has an ST card reader, two USB-A points and a USB-C point and in addition it has a HDMI. It also comes in the same space grey as the MacBook itself which is kind of cool. When I first purchased my 2012 MacBook Pro back in the day I also purchased a Thunderbolt 1 hard drive stacking system here um, and so in order to use that I'm going to have to have another adapter because it's Thunderbolt 3 on the new MacBook Pro. This is this adapter. And then in addition, I bought, again from Amazon, a USB-C to USB-A mini port adapter. So we'll try all of those today and see which ones work. So let's first try the Thunderbolt adapter. This is a USB-C connector, which passes through the Thunderbolt 3 data information onto the Thunderbolt 1 and 2 socket. Now this is bi-directional, so you can kind of do it in both directions. Let's see how it works here. If I take the connector from my um, Pegasus R6 into the dongle and let's plug it in and see what happens. And success, that was actually pretty quick. It's uh, loaded it up perfectly. Next, let's try this Hutu mini docking station. Now, as mentioned before, this has got quite a few handy connectors in it and it wasn't overtly expensive. Let's see how it goes with the SD card. It's quite nice, it lights up when it's got power. And again, it's found it relatively quickly. So sticking with the Hutu docking station, let's try a infrared mouse on that wired mouse. You can use one of the USB connectors here. Let's use the first one. The light has come on. And the mouse is working quite well, quite quickly. So we've had pretty much success on the first two. Let's try the third one, which is just a standard USB-C to USB-A. Now the Hutu docking station has a USB-C-A already on there, but let's just see how this one goes. And again, I'll try the mouse. So there we have it, all three worked. Now some might say it's unfortunate that you have to have three dongles in order to do pretty much what I was already doing with my 2012 MacBook. Perhaps that's the price of progress, I, I don't really know. For me it's not too much of a hassle, it is annoying that the SD card ha reader has gone from the actual system, but as I said this Hutu thing is really good. Um, you have to remember to bring it round but it's quite lightweight and it works pretty seamlessly. The only thing I have noticed is that if you have all of these dongles in, the charging, the laptop, um, the, the screen and also the Hutu, you're starting to use up a lot of those USB-C sockets on the system itself so at some point I'm going to need a docking station that has additional USB-C stroke Thunderbolt 3 sockets um, and they don't seem to be out yet. I've seen a couple of coming soon and I'm sure they're not going to be cheap um, so they're going to be on the list at some point just to give me a little bit more flexibility. But on the whole, there's some hope out there. You don't have to spend a fortune to get some really good dongles. So this was just a quick video and I hope you found it informative. Please let me know what you think. Hit like, hit subscribe and please comment in the comments below.